Okay guys, today I'm going to do a, a unbox for a portable vacuum cleaner. So from the front of it, you've seen that it has a strong suction. It's able to uh, suck those dusts on the keyboard into, into its uh, uh, sponge thing. Okay, and here we see the keyboard dust cleaning and uh, makeup baking powder cleaning and uh, car rubbish cleaning so it can help you clean all kinds of dusts and uh, small particles so i have taken all of it out of the box it has mainly uh, three attachments and the and the uh, vacuum cleaner itself so these are the three attachments. Uh, first, you need to twist it onto the vacuum like this. And inside uh, the, this attachment, you'll see there is a sponge. It's to, uh, to filter all those uh, particles in the dust. So now I'm going to twist it on and the, it has about like 1.5 meters cable and it's USB powered. So I've brought up my uh, power bank and I'll plug it in. You can also power it up with your uh, laptop or your PC power or USB charger. So now let's first, uh, let's hear the sound of this vacuum cleaner. Okay. From the sound of it, uh, I assume it has a good suction power. Okay. So these two attachments, they are used in different places. I guess, uh, see, there is a hole in, in the center and these brushes are for you to to loosen some some dusts and the particles loosen up okay so first I'm going to test this attachment see if it works very well uh, okay I have some some papers okay and now I'm going to turn on the power Okay, seems, seems it works very well. And I'm going to twist it open. Let's see, they're all, all in, on the front of the filter, sponge filter. Okay, I'm going to take, take it off. And this time, let's, uh, le let's test whether you can suck all those teas into the vacuum. Yeah, please note the the tea uh, the tea amount is is a uh, tremendous. So let's see if this vacuum cleaner can take all these uh, amount of tea. Yes, this time, just as the last time, it works very well with tea cleaning. Tea. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. I'm making a mess. I should have dumped it into a rubbish bin. Okay. Okay, now we've tested uh, this attachment. We'll change to another uh, nozzle. 
So uh, here we have some brushes that help us to loosen up those particles that have been on the keyboard for a long time. Uh, here, let's see. Okay, I forgot to show you something. So uh, see now, let's take a, close, a look at the filter. The sponge filter is clean, right? Not that clean, but we didn't see, but we don't see any uh, dust or particles on the filter. After this keyboard cleaning, we'll see it again. Especially see the crevices. You have to brush it, loosen it, it up with the brushes. And then the suction power will do the rest of the work. See the difference? This section and these and this section. The, the crevices of this section ha have been cleaned. Okay, now you see this section has been cleaned and this section Obviously, uh, the brushes are doing a great job in this part, uh, this kind of work, okay? Especially if you wanna uh, dig out or dig up all those dust that, 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 that has been in those crevices for such a long time. They're like, like greasy pasta that is very stick, sticky to the keyboard, keyboards, okay? And now let's, let's take a look at the sponge filter first. Now, you've see, now you can see that the very, very tiny particles in the dust are sucked onto the filter. And, and let's take a look at this part. And this part. Obviously, they're, they're different. This is like a new keyboard. This is like a very old keyboard that's covered with dust. See the crevices, the gaps that between those keyboards? Okay. So, these uh, this attachment works very well with crevices, dusts, okay? So, uh, I guess it's, uh, it's a very useful uh, vacuum cleaner and uh, it's portable, powered up with uh, even power bank. So, it's very convenient to use. Thank you for watching and hope you, it can help you clean up those nasty dusts. Thank <laughs> you.